But guys, look over there. There is an octopus. Octopuses have eight arms, not tentacles, with suckers in the form of concave dots on the arms which are used to move on the sea floor and catch prey. The octopus arm is a muscular hydrostat structure that consists almost entirely of layers of boneless muscle. This is dolphin. These dolphins have complex neurons that lead to self-awareness and recognizing in solving problems. For example, dolphins are able to play with games, solve puzzles, tools, and so on. This is squid. Squid hunt by swimming in groups in the open ocean. When they find prey they will shoot their tentacles to hook onto their food. They will finish their food gradually by breaking it up. There is a stingray. The first uniqueness of stingrays is that their shape is not like fish in general, but actually resembles an airplane. These animals are characterized by a flat and wide body shape, which makes them look like planes. This is a hermit crab. Land hermit crab's food can consist of vegetables such as spinach, carrots and lettuce as well as fruits such as mango, coconut and papaya. Nuts, seaweed, brine shrimp and fish flakes can also be fed to land hermit crabs. There is spotted eagle ray. Eagle rays are a group of stingrays in the family Miliobatidae. Most of its members consist of large stingray species that live in the open sea rather than on the seabed. This is manta ray. The manta ray, manta birostris, is one of the largest ray species in the world. The width of the body from the tip of the pectoral fin to the tip of the other reaches almost 6 to 8 meters. Well guys, look. This is pufferfish. Pufferfish have very strong poison in their bodies, namely tetrodo poison which is found in the liver, gonads, or reproductive organs, intestines and skin. This substance will make them taste rotten and is often deadly. This is a garfish. This alligator fish or often referred to as crocodile fish has a shape similar to a crocodile. It has a long mouth, snout and body like a crocodile only it doesn't have legs. This is a blue spotted ray. The blue spotted stingray is not reef compatible, and so it needs sand as the substrate, because if any coarser is used it can scratch the underside of the fish, and that can lead to infection. There is lobster. Lobsters are nocturnal animals that are sensitive to light, so when lobsters are in low light intensity conditions, they will move more actively and allow more interactions with other lobsters rather than staying still and hiding in shelters. This is a dugong. The dugong is not a fish, but one of 35 types of marine mammals in Indonesia with the scientific name dugong dugan. The term dugong itself comes from the Filipino language, Tagalog. This is a decapodiformer. Decapodiforms is a superorder of cephalopoda consisting of all cephalopod species with 10 limbs, specifically 8 short arms and 2 long tentacles. There is a jellyfish. Even though the jellyfish has died, it is still dangerous. This is because its tentacles, which are equipped with nematocysts, contain poison and still sting even when they are dead. Well guys, look over there. There is crab. Crabs have teeth in their stomach. If you look at a crab at a glance, you will only see its shell, antennae, legs and claws. However, if you turn the crab's body over you will see that their stomach has teeth. There is a clownfish. Of the nearly 30 species of clownfish, there are two types commonly referred to as the orange clownfish, Amphiprion percula and Amphiprion ocellaris. The percula clownfish is distinguished by its vivid orange color and white bands outlined in black. This is ammonite. Ammonites were the predators of their time, 
feeding on most living marine creatures including mollusks, fish, and even other cephalopods. By analogy to modern cephalopods, their method of attack probably consisted of silently stalking their prey, then rapidly extending their tentacles to grasp the target. This is Gurnard fish. Gurnards are a lean, firm, white-fleshed, prehistoric-looking fish who belong to a species known collectively as Trigliidae. Gurnards are bottom-dwelling coastal fish with a spiny armored head and finger-like pectoral fins used for crawling along the sea bottom. This is Gulper Eel. Gulper Eels have tiny eyes, which is unusual for deep-sea creatures. Bioluminescence might also be used to attract a mate. Scientists believe gulper eels die soon after mating. This is a moray eel. Moray eels also have mucus like other eels, in some types of moray, the mucus contains poison. Moray eels have thicker skin with high density. Wow, this is starfish. Starfish can only eat mussels because these creatures also move very slowly so it is still possible for starfish to chase them. However, there are also starfish that prey on fish, small animals, and coral. Well guys, look! This is Lemon Shark. Lemon sharks are not very brightly colored. They are more of a tawny color, giving them a muddy appearance. This makes them perfectly colored to match the sandy bottom of the environment in which they hunt. This is Blue Whale. Far bigger than any dinosaur, the blue whale is the largest known animal to have ever lived. An adult blue whale can grow to a massive 30 m long and weigh more than 180,000 kilograms, that's about the same as 40 elephants. This is Hammerhead Shark. Hammerhead sharks are one of the predators that rely on electricity to detect their prey. The use of electricity allows the hammerhead shark to attack repeatedly even if its vision is obscured by blood or mud. This is Mosasaurus. Mosasaurus evolved around 100 million years ago, and diversified by 66 million years ago. This sea monster is thought to have become extinct and a giant asteroid hit Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, plunging the world into darkness. This is Mouth Bass. Large Mouth Bass is a highly adaptive fish and can be found in a variety of freshwater habitats, including lakes, rivers, and swamps. However, this fish prefers habitats that have dense vegetation. Thank you for watching guys, see you next video.